Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. When we last left off, we had just beat... Nah, we just beat all the Team Rockets inside Golden Round City. And now we are here at Blackthorn City, where we are going to be taking on Claire of... Well, the gym. I don't know why I was going to say something else. So, really quickly, one thing you want to have is a Pokemon with strength. Because, well, you'll pretty much see why in a minute. And that's why I have Rocky with me. And, like, uh, I, I said two episodes ago, Claire is known for using Dragon-type Pokemon. So, if you have a Pokemon that knows Ice-type moves or... A nice Pokemon, then you should be golden for this gym. Unfortunately, Poly, uh, Poly Swine or Hitsugaya for me is weak to fire type moves, which unfortunately it seems like everyone in this accursed gym has some type of uh, yeah, fire move so unfortunately for me I can't necessarily use Hitsugaya so I'm gonna have to try and work around that and can I use brute force And luckily for us, there really is not that many uh, dragon type Pokemon. But the famous Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite, which I did showcase in the last, uh, what was that, Pokemon game, was the only class, yeah, we're the only classified dragon type Pokemon. Uh, in the last generation, although now uh, that's changed with uh, Gyarados being added, Charizard I think was added this uh, generation, and then there's a couple others that we're going to be seeing, especially I think in the next uh, trainer battle or two. Yeah, screw you too. Paralyzing me. And like I said, I'm going to avoid trying to use Hitsugaya because he's uh, weak to fire type moves. Maybe it's Dragon. Because I'm pretty sure it was Dragon Rage that I saw them using. I don't know. Alright, so as you can see, the gimmick of this sham. Uh, the gym's kind of section off by lava, so we can't obviously go jumping into the lava and swim past. So what we're going to have to do is come up here and drop these boulders down the holes. Sure, that's what we're going to have to do, but unfortunately we have to sit here and go through all the trainers in order to uh, drop all the boulder boulders down and also get to clear Sick her out. And, yep, yeah, there it is. The other uh, classified dragon Pokemon in the game. That comes from my uh, memory. Or at least from the first generation. I think there might be like one or two other. Uh, Dragon set Pokemon from Generation 2. Although none are really coming to mind. Yeah. And actually, with Cedar and all of them, it would probably be a good idea if he actually had a Dungeon set Pokemon, but oh well. Oh, 
Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Dude, that would probably be a good Pokemon to have. Just because Dugon's ice and water type. Just have Dugon with some ice type po uh, moves. We're gonna take out all those dragons easily, besides. Uh, what was that? Um, besides the obvious. Pokemon that has water. I had to sit there for, for a second and think. It's like, wait a minute. That does not look right. Unfortunately, that boulder does help uh, our way to get there. But, unfortunately, we need one more before we can actually get to Claire. And that is, unfortunately, up there. So, we're going to have to sit here and do another trainer battle. Wait, what did he say? I remember something about using Pokemon that are stronger than Dragon. I'm not necessarily sure if Horsey is really stronger than Dragon type Pokemon. Might just be me. And again, of course, it might pop. Possibly might be stronger than some dragon set Pokemon. Really, Ichigaya? Come on. Get your hand in the game. Missed two attacks in a row. There hasn't even been one accuracy reduced. Disappointed. I am really disappointed. You missed three attacks in a row, and now you're gonna die because you missed three attacks in a row. Good job. Good job. So say, hey, you probably would have died. Then again, you would have had a lot more HP if you would have just attacked. Ugh. Yeah, that's it all for now. Just wait until we get to the next person and then you're gonna be dead. No offense. <laughs> that ain't luckily for us. What was that? Um, our Pokemon are about level 40, and that will probably help us when it comes down to face Claire. Because I think most of her Pokemon are about level 40. Yeah, you can move boulders now. Congratulations. Yeah, and you know what? We're gonna. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping you know, I would just start down right on top of the boulder, but of course that doesn't happen. They're full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. Hmm. Well, I got bad news for you, Lola. If. That's all you're gonna have is Stratini's, or possibly even a Dragonair. You're gonna have a bad time. Especially for the fact that I still have another three Pokemon shot. It's got your feeding. Oh, yeah, three Pokemon lots. I'm good. I would not say I'm good enough to actually fight Claire, though. I am not going to be that stupid. Ugh. It is going to be interesting to fight Claire. 
And like that dragon air. Oh yeah, it does fall at 30. I seen there was like, wait a minute, it's another hacked Pokemon. Just like that level 11 Pidgeotto. Maybe he caught Ossie's Pidgeotto. One of the Pidgeotos in Viridian Forest. Seriously though, that's just weird. Because I believe it's only in Pokemon Yellow that you can actually catch the, I think, what, level 6, 7 Pidgeotto in Viridian Forest. That deal's quite, quite strange. Then again, so it's the fact that you can also catch a missing, missing oil. And level, I think, what? Level 3, 5, 10, 11, something like, some kind of levels like that. Uh, Needle Keen, a Needle Queen, and a Mew. If you use that whole trainer glitch. All that good, random, crazy stuff. Alright, now that we're healed, let's go take on Claire. Which hopefully we should be able to take her on. Not necessarily quite easily, but hopefully we're not going to have too much of a difficult time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're only talking about the Elite Four, not the Champion. And I don't even want to say anything. Wait, hold on. She said that she was the best. So, the, so does that mean that Lance is only second rate to her? Even though that Lance is the Champion? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe she, she's supposed to mean she's the best female dragon champion. No. <laughs> Too bad you can't be a girl. Quite yet. Just be a girl, rubbing her in her face, but like, what? What? I'm the best female dragon champion. Can't be me. Welcome to my life of being random. Now, good thing Dragonair is only using Surf. It could be a lot worse than saying if. What was that? No, no. Wait. Yeah, I think could potentially know some ice moves. Yeah, you just got like dragon type Pokemon. They they have a wide variety of moves they can learn. Yeah, just like that Thunderbolt right there. Yeah. Electric moves, ice moves, water moves, uh, fire moves, dragon moves. All that thought is, uh, what was it? Um, psychic moves and some other moves. That's all you need, and then Dragon type Pokemon are like the best of the best, at least in Generation 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah, I definitely remember when what was that? Um, oh, when reds and blue came out, I always wanted to get a Dragonite, but I could never figure out where to get a Dratini in them. And again, I never really spent much time at the casinos. <laughs> oh, well. And that's ancient news, anyways. I don't know even if I even talked about it in uh, the, the Let's Play. And there is Claire's signature Pokemon, which is uh, Kindra. 
<laughs> Which is a valve form of Cedra. Oh, yes, that is right. Cedra has a new evolution that evolves into Kindra. Hello, mate. Maybe it's just horsey that evolves into it. I don't remember. I, I do believe it's uh, Cedra, though. Because I think you need King's Rock. Oh, I was about to say, I don't know why we need King's Rock for Cedra to evolve to Kindra. And then it's, then it just clicked to me. It's like, oh, yeah, Kindra. Yeah, brilliant move of not catching the fact that has Keen in the name. Man. I really am getting tired then. Oh well. Polly Swan was up. How weak. To water and fire. I can only see a fire, I just can't wait. Uh, what was that? I just can't understand the water part. I was about to say, are you kidding me? You go, you missed again? No red candies for you. None. None at all. You know what? I gotta use Akazawa. <laughs> Okay, so you want some attention, sure. Can't go wrong with these in Umbreon. Although, none of the uh, Akazawa's moves can really damage them whatsoever. Well, it's significantly hard. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't... I don't I think there's that great of a chance that uh, Akizawa can really get paralyzed because of, uh, what was it, the type that she is. Thank God for darkness. And thank God that Umbreon's the only dark Pokemon in the game for right now. Must be some mistake. All right, crazy lady. <laughs> I may have lost, but you're not ready. I will never accept defeat. From deep inside the den, that is the test to be accepted. And a true dragon user, if you cannot, if you can do that, I will accept you as a worthy trainer. Yeah, you just gotta like that. <laughs> oh, I beat... <laughs> you beat me, but you know what? I'm not accepting you as a... Generate, uh, genuine Pokemon trainer until you bring me blah blah blah. Really classy. Really classy. Throwing a hissy fit just because I beat your dragon Pokemon. And you're so-called the dragon queen. Well, probably not dragon queen necessarily, but... She might as well call herself that because she was the best dragon t trainer in the world. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're only second rate. Third rate if I want to use all dragon Pokemon. Then again, there's not really a wide variety of dragon Pokemon. Not really. Like, the only dragon Pokemon you can really use is... Uh, what was it? Cedra, Kindra, Dragonite, Dragonair, Fratini. That's literally about it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to deposit Rocky because we don't need strength anymore. Or not for the meantime anyways. And we're going to withdraw this level 15 gear to set a uh, cot for this uh, purpose. So, what we need to do is, um, um, oh yeah, TM, I mean HMs, we need to, uh, what was it, 
pretty much make the Gyarados a HM slave. So he needs to learn Surf, uh, Whirlpool, uh, see only no Splash. I I'm not even kidding, does he only know Splash? And uh, he needs to learn Waterfall. And also, just because about the only other useful HM that we will ever need is Strength. For some reason, I'm pretty sure he probably only knows Splash. That's why he could learn uh, Thrash. Well, he proved me wrong. But either way, we have a level 30 Gyarados. Oh yeah, Gyarados. How could I forget that Gyarados to consider Dragon Pokemon and Charizard? <laughs> yeah, that's just lovely. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not going to cut off the episode because this little part is pretty easy to do and it's probably going to be pretty fast. So, all you need to do to get a Dragon Fan is Surf. Do, 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 do. And you see the Whirlpool animation? Well, all you gotta do is click on it and you can use Whirlpool. And pretty much the only thing that it does is, oh, well, never done. I was thinking, um, what is it? Oh, I thought you go over it. Maybe I'm thinking of hard gold and soul silver. Yeah, no time for your match cart. <laughs> also, if you want to get a uh, Dragonite, this will be the place that you want to come to if you want to catch a wild one. Or um, if you don't want to spend your coins or spend time in the casino to get all the money for it and also here is the dragon fan and as soon as I get that clear comes rushing in and that uh, was a yeah recognize us recognize us as a true trainer yeah because it's so gosh darn difficult uh, without question, hmm, well, is that, yeah, dragon breath, no, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath, so collecting all the badges, your destination is the Pokemon lead, and it's a good plateau, do you know how to get there? No, I don't want to know how to get here. Oh, shut up, Claire. Yeah, I don't care about your petty feelings about losing to me. And then if I lose, then you'll feel even crummier because then you'll lose to a loser. Me, 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 me. Yeah, I know. Well, little rude. But considering the fact that, um, what is it? I know the first one I have a Pokemon to counteract that. Yay for Teflosion. The second one, the second one I believe Teflosion can be used for. Yeah, I, I really don't remember. I still don't remember the late four, but oh well. <laughs> it's just more so the problem of actually keeping my Pokemon alive throughout the whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah, what was it? Oh yeah, and yeah, that was really hard to sit there, go through, surf, and cross over a whirlpool and just get the Dragon Fane. Congratulations, Claire. We made it sound like it was an impossible task. Nah.
Either way, as soon as we come out of the Dragon Den, we get a call from Professor Um. No, I can't swim by. I'd go to the Pokemon Lane and win and become like red slash. Well, yeah, red. Or ass. Depending on who you want to call him. Either way, just, just fly down here. If you have Pokemon that knows fly. <sighs> Fine, let's go see what Professor Elm wants. Going great, took this, took out my previous and Yep, that's right, to get the Master Ball from Professor Elm. Okay, that's creepy. I really hope that was the TV. Or else I am here at the ends. And again, I probably am. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just seeing Pokemon without fail. It's a good one only to recognize Pokemon research. I think you can make very use of it than I can. Yeah. Okay, what was it? Um. <laughs> uh, I'm spacing out so much. Oh yeah, the Master Ball. If I were you, I would personally save the Master Ball until probably about the opposite legendary bird. Just because, um, I'll just say right now, the legendary bird of the opposite version of yours um that is gonna be level 70 i believe which is the highest wild pokemon that you can catch yeah it's gonna be like a mewtwo then you're just gonna be an ass and just uh, throw a master ball at it and catch it like it was nothing <laughs> um but yeah either way now that we have that out of the way, now we can go all the way to Indigo Plateau. Just like Claire suggested, take Newback Town East. Yeah, I think it's East. Whatever. Yeah, just surf and you'll get to Indigo Plateau. Yeah, screw you too. Either way, see you guys next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And in the next episode, we are going to take on... Well can't say if we'll take on but we'll make our way towards the indigo plateau so with that i'll see you guys next time and ho hope you guys have a good day